Hi teachers, it's me, Lisa Sahadevan, your kindergarten virtual learning specialist. I was kind of thinking about this lesson for the beginning of the school year, but really you could stop and do it any time of year. When it comes to social studies, a big part of that is community. And part of community is identifying our feelings and emotions. So an activity I like to do during morning work, during morning meeting, or even during a quick lineup time is have every student share a feeling word or an emotion word. Now, you might think at first that they might not know one, and that's okay because as they hear the others, they'll start thinking of some, and then you can guide them in thinking of words that might be similar or even making a face and letting them guess your emotion if they're trying to come up with one. What I do after we come up with that list of words like sleepy, angry, silly, excited, tired, worried, anxious, and they do come up with all kinds of feelings words. <laughs> I make them on a huge chart with all of our feelings because we do need to identify the feelings and how we can handle our feelings is have students choose one to illustrate. And we just do it on a sticky note or index card and then their illustration goes next to their word. And I model this first, of course. And then it hangs in our room as an anchor chart. So maybe a student can't think of the word to describe their feeling. They could always go and point to one on the chart to show us that that is what they're feeling. It's a great tool and an empowering tool that hopefully will help them learn some new vocabulary along with what those feelings and emotions look like and sound like and how we can handle them too. Have a great day.